Good Thursday afternoon, everybody. We are at Disney Springs because we got news today. Oh my gosh, I didn't bring the shoes. Oh no. We were supposed to bring the Melissa shoes to get you the right size, but we forgot I, them. We came all the way down here to exchange a pair of shoes and I did not even bring them. Dang. But the good news is they did announce like six new things that are going to be opening this summer. And we're going to see if we can see some of them. I know that the World of Coke or the Coke Store Orlando or something like that. All the walls are down around it, so we can yeah. see it up close now. So let's go have a look. But we did bring our umbrellas just in case, because it looks like rain. Ooh, lots of stuff visible from up here. There's the Coke store, which by the way, is going to have a bar up here where you can get Coke-based cocktails. And look at all the work that they've done to Planet Hollywood, starting to get a full front facade now. And if we look past it, we can see some of the work that they're doing on the Edison bar. Those are scaffolding around the, the like pinnacle. Couldn't really figure out why that they always have these uh, escalators backwards. Like this one's going down when it should be going up and that one's going up when it should be going down. Another thing that's happening tonight, there are a bunch of restaurants around Disney Springs that are doing a charitable night for Orlando United. There's a lot of places. We're not sure what the full list is, but it's pretty neat that they're doing that down here. So let's go check it out. Here's a close up of the world of Coke or the Coke store, Coca-Cola store. And it's kind of interesting because, and I'll show you this in just a second, gift store is fully stocked. So I would imagine that they're gonna open this up any day now. Here's a, a closer look at Planet Hollywood. And if you guys are wondering what it's gonna look like, it will be an observatory that looks like this, heading into the town center. And the funniest thing is that today, the Parks blog, Disney Parks blog, released an article saying, there will be six new stores that are coming this summer. And one of the ones that they listed was Columbia. It's already open. <laughs> like it's open right now. I think it's open today. Oh. It smells very new in there. Should we go inside? And also Sugar Boo was the other one, another one that they said. We should definitely look in there. No, it's like uh, interior design, like pictures and art and stuff like tchotchkes for your house. I'm kind of obsessed with that. And I told you guys in yesterday's video, so we should go in. Yeah, here it is. This is awesome looking in here. I kind of want this dancing dog picture. I want this. This is one of your favorite wine, oh, wines, by the way. This is like they're telling me to buy it. Yeah. Gin, this is for you. Oh my. Oops, don't touch that. <laughs> Ooh, look, wait, put it back down. If you look carefully, this says Disney in Spanish. Merman, dad, merman. This is my favorite sign ever in the world. That's amazing. Well, they sell like cucumbers. Like you can grow your own cucumbers or cilantro. That's pretty awesome. Or Nasterium. I don't know what that is. <laughs> this is like one of the most Disney things I've ever seen in my life. Oh, it's the paintbrush. Yeah. Oh, wait, they come out. Well, I don't think they're supposed to. It's like a, a wall hanging. Look at this. What is it? That's a giant clothespin. This is like one of the ghosts from Pac-Man. So what they told us is that tomorrow is the official grand opening. I'm assuming that's the same thing for Columbia. So uh, tomorrow when you guys are watching this, you can come down to Sugar Boo and Company or Columbia and go shopping at Disney Springs. A couple of other stores that weren't open the last time that we were here is this Free People store and this Johnny Was store. Johnny Was? Let's go check out Free People. Very bohemian though. Kind of see some of the stuff that they have to offer here, like some boots here. Some like fun bohemian type stuff. That's, it looks very beachy to me. If I were a girl, I would wear that to the beach with a bathing suit underneath it. Yeah, see, like this looks very beachy. It kind of looks very LA to me too. Johnny Was, I don't know what this is, but it looks like the clothes are kind of very similar to Free People Next Door. Hey, Jen. What? What does Vince Camuto sell? Vince Camuto? I think it's Camuto. He sells shoes, like fancy shoes. Oh, fancy shoes and bags it looks like too. So fancy shoes and bags. And right next to Vinny Camuto, you can, that's where the bus loop lets off. So Anthropology is not open yet, and that was not one of the stores that was listed in the six that the Disney Parks blog said today. So I am assuming that this one will not be open tomorrow. One of the places that opened recently was Frontera Cocina. Let's go check out the menu. There you go, here's the menu. With some beautiful music behind you. I feel like I would probably get this or this because those both sound delicious. Coming up, if you guys look right here, that's STK, that's where we ate. And then we filmed our review right there, if you guys remember that video. And I said that this place looked like a Hooters. So this place is called Homecoming and it's actually a James Beard chef 
is running it, so I feel kind of bad because it's probably gonna be a really good place. We'll go look at, maybe the menu's out front. But then also over here is Blaze Pizza. There's another view of Blaze Pizza, which looks like it is darn close to being finished. Like not ready to open tomorrow, but definitely far along and it looks awesome. Look at Planet Hollywood. They've got like a hole in the back of the building there. And also look at this water still. Looks awesome. We did find out from watching the documentary on when they made this, they used uh, glass to get the color of this, which is pretty neat. So you can kind of see it right there. Like there's some blue glass chunks in there. Looks really neat. Here he is, it is homecoming and this is Chef Art Smith. So I don't know, I'm excited to try his food because it's like Southern. And we saw the menu for this place online today and it looked amazing. Like the food looked so good and the drinks looked so good. Dine and shine. I think we're gonna give a Morimoto street food a try because they are giving 100% of the proceeds today to one Orlando fund. There is a bee in my hair right now and I'm very scared. This storm is rolling in. So we might not be here too much longer. Opening day, there was like an hour long line for sprinkles and a 30 minute line for the ATM. Today it looks like maybe like a 20 minute line to get in and a zero wait line for the ATM. Should we get one? Should we get one from the ATM? All right, let's do it. Darn, yeah, I guess it's not open right now. What is the sign, what does it say on it? Our bakers are loading cupcakes, come back in 30 minutes. Oh no! Thank you for your convenience. So right across the way from Sprinkles is Frontera and I didn't realize that they have a quick service window over here where you could get tacos, snacks, and drinks. The spring's still looking so beautiful. Right there, that's the head spring, that bubble. Very nice, so nice looking. So this, the trophy room here, is owned by Michael Jordan's son, and it's all sorts of fancy shoes, fancy tennis shoes, and they even have some shoes that are not available anymore. We got Michael Jordan signed basketball, Michael Jordan signed a piece of the floor. Wow, and I guess these are Michael Jordan shoes. Look at these gold Air Jordans right here. Is there something like really special? I know, that's what I said. I said that one must be real special. These two right here, because they're both spinning. Look at these. They have like an ankle brace. Okay, so we walked in and we were like, what are those? That is their entire collection for this store. So this is the only store in the whole world that focuses on Nike Air Jordans. And this is their entire collection. And if you look, there is a spinning model that changes every day because this is like a calendar. So basically we are on the 29th, what is that? The 28th, 29th day of the month. He was just saying it's basically like a calendar showing what day it is, but it's also their full collection. And I guess this white pair over here, they said that there were only 523 of them made because they opened at 523 in the morning on 523, May 23rd. So if you bought this, you are one of 523 people that bought it. That's amazing. Another one of the stores they announced today in the Disney Parks blog was Super Dry but I thought it was gonna be open and it's not, not yet, but I would, it kind of looks like it's getting ready to open because they're putting together fixtures in there. One more thing that opened was Lacoste. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's a Lacoste store. They sell polo shirts and they're like polo shirts of all different colors, like these right here. Oh, and I guess like little polo dresses and shorts and little belts, lots of stuff. It's a very colorful store in the back back there. So that was everything that the Disney Parks blog announced today, except for one thing. And that was the Levi store. I can't find it. It's not in the map. I don't know where it is. So, I don't know. If we see it on the way out, we'll let you know where it is, but we haven't seen it yet. I didn't get to do this last time. Here it is. I did a... And what is it? A Fibonacci <laughs> screw. Oh, give me your hand in mind. every word that you speak. Just remember it's all of that we don't need. Quick look inside of the Coca-Cola store. Lots and lots of merchandise in there. Not fully stocked yet because they're still doing work in there, but pretty darn close. And now we are getting out of here before the rain comes because it's a coming. Yeah, it's pretty humid out, but this rain is actually feels really nice. That's the thing about the rain. It's like you're happy about it because it cools off, but you're also sad because it's raining. Oh, do you guys hear that wind? I don't know oh. how much this like microphone's picking it up. You, but... can see, you can see my hair. Like it's windy and it yeah. feels amazing. So we are off. We're gonna try to drive through and brave the storm. So we will see you guys tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price.